Hey, what's up YouTube friends and neighbors? Today will be a part three of our MVC. And I know these are long tutorials, but if you follow along, you could uh, learn a lot. Uh, so to start out, what we're gonna do is make the ability to log in with a user. And we need to store our data. So we need to make a uh, database object. And what I'm gonna do in my libs folder, I'm gonna create a new PHP file. And I'm gonna call this database. Okay, and we always, well, not always, we want a public function underscore underscore construct. And what we're gonna do with database is actually extend PDO. And in your PHP INI file, you have to have this enabled. Um, I'm gonna just search for uh, PDO. And right here, I'm using PDO with MySQL and you just want to take away the little uh, semicolon and then you would restart your server so make sure that's enabled uh, once it is we can do PD, uh, database extends PDO and if you're wondering what this does I assume you do but peach um, let me just show you briefly if I look at uh, PDO there's a ton of uh, functions or methods in it and there's also a PDO statement um, and basically what this does is our database gets all of these functions just by extending it and we can use them and overwrite things in here so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, do a construct and I'm gonna do a parent construct Oops. I gotta lean into talking to this microphone. And to uh, do this, usually it's kind of like this. MySQL is the type. The host will be localhost, um, DB name, and we need to make a database. I'll call this MVC. Um, DB name equals that. Um, I think that's right. And then our user and password. My user is root. My password is nothing. And I'll save that. So what I'm going to do now is open PHP my admin. And that's probably under your local host. PHP my admin if you're you've installed this stuff. And I'll just create a new database called MVC. Okay? Don't need anything in there just yet. Uh, what I'm going to do is test this out. Um, and a database should really only be accessed from your model. So from here, we're going to do this. This database equals new database. Uh, to make it shorter, I'm going to call it this DB. Now we will have the database object reusable through every model. Okay. And let's see. We have a help model. Let's make a um, login model. So I'll do a new PHP file. Login model. And this needs to extend the model. And um, I'll just say public function test. And I'll say this db well I think this will just get called anyways uh, because the model should be getting constructed how do I do it in here okay let me test this out under the login page I'm under login I need uh, to be able to access the model so let's see how do I do it in here in help I did require help model Usually I do this automatically, but uh, I'll just copy this for now and go into my login model, or sorry, login controller, and under the index page, just paste this in. And I want to require the uh, login model. And let's see if that does anything. Refresh. And it says class database not found. We need to include that. 
I believe it was the index page. So I'll say library require libs database. Try once more. And it looks like it is good. So we have database included. What I'm going to also do is create um, a way to make models include themselves um, if they exist. So to do so, let's see. Login model, help model, model, database. I'll just close all these for a second and go to bootstrap let's see down here um, a model is always inside of a controller so I'll go inside of the controller and we'll do if file exists and we'll require models slash um, name model.php okay and the name of the model is going to have to be a child class on my computer I'm using PHP 5.3 but on my web server it's 5.2 and there's not a good function to get the child constructor um, inside of uh, the parent class if that makes sense so a workaround we could just do a uh, function to load a model and I will pop this in here so if file exists of name well I'll just copy this whole line name equals how about path equals models name model so then we can just say load model of login and it'll find it okay that looks good and if file exists of the path we will require that and then we want to instantiate it and we'll say this model equals new um, name and we need to um, make that a real thing. So I'll say model name equals name dot model. Okay, so you see what we did here? We um, are looking for a name such as login, and it's going to look in the models for a login and where to have this attached onto it. If it exists, we will require the file, and then we will uh, create a um, name so that we can instantiate it like this. Kind of a uh, funny way of doing it, I suppose. Uh, so we'll go to the bootstrap again. And we have a name for our controller being called in here and it looks like it may be URL 0 and where we instantiate the controller right here I can say controller load model of URL 0 now I'm assuming there's going to be a glitch so I'll go ahead and try that out refresh cannot redeclare class well I got to get rid of that thing in my login model. Let me delete that. And refresh. Okay. Index. Help. So are these being included? Let's find out. I'll go to my login model and let me just do a public function construct. And I'll just echo out ones. Refresh and great that looks like it works now you'll probably want to clean up your code a bit better than what I've done but uh, no big deal for now so back to uh, our database stuff um, what we're gonna do is uh, make a form in the login view so I'll open up my views login index PHP 
and I'll just say login and form action I don't know yet method will be post and we'll do a label for login and a label for password and we'll do uh, input type equals uh, password uh, name equals password and we'll do a text one for this one. Oh, we also need a line break and we also need a uh, submit button so input type equals submit um, yeah that's good enough so pause the video for now if you need to type this out not too difficult and refresh and we have a really cheesy looking login form and where I want this to go is going to be uh, like let's say login do so I wanted to go to MVC login do so I'll just say uh, login do I want to stay in the login controller but I want to call the function login do or I'll just call it run so it's easier to understand so refresh login and the page doesn't doesn't exist yet and back in our login uh, controller I'll make a function called run and now I can talk to the model this model run and all the business logic is going to happen in uh, side of the model so I know we're hopping around a bit hopefully you haven't lost track yet we're going back to the login model and I will do a uh, public function run I can go ahead and erase this here and I'm going to query the database so I'll say this DB um, query now this is straight up PDO right here um, and I'm just going to say selects um, ID from users where login equals um, I'm gonna double quote this actually it'll be a little easier login equals login and password equals password okay let me pop that on two lines so you can see it there we go and that looks fine and what we need to do is obviously have a login and password uh, we don't have a form object I'm not going to do that right now we're just going to kind of ghetto rig this and do a post of login and a post of password and password equals and login equals uh, you will want to sanitize these string uh, posts so that they're not dirty you know make sure they're cleaned up we're going to use PDO prepared statement to uh, clean up some junk uh, for our query uh, so that they can't uh, abuse it uh, actually I, I want to do a prepared statement so that it cleans it up for us um, so I want to do where login equals login and password equals password whoops this is not right there we go this DB prepare and then we want to execute it this DB execute and we want to fill in these little placeholders here so I'll make an array and I'll say um, login is login and password is password cool and then what we have to do is fetch it I'll just say data equals fetch all and I'll print R of data not certain how well this will work just yet uh, I could actually move these down here and right here save a couple lines okay and might work might not work let's find out so refresh submit undefined property login model DB um, call to a member function prepare on a non object well silly me I forgot to create the table so I'll make one called users with three fields uh, the first one will be an ID 
The second one will be a login and a password. Var character, var character. I'm going to do 32 for the password so we can do a MD5 hash. Uh, for the login, I'll just do 25. For the integer, I'll do 11. And this will be the primary key, auto incremented. Save. And I need to insert some guy in here. I'll call him Jesse. And I need a password that's 32 characters long. Um, so let me uh, just do echo MD5 of Jesse. So back, refresh, and that'll be my password. Go. Browse. OK. And let's try that again. Undefined property login model DB. That's not right. I guess we have to uh, construct the parent to get that working. So I'll say parent construct. I can get rid of this line. Uh, refresh. We call the undefined method database execute. Oops, that has to be a statement. Boy, I'm, I'm a little bit off my rocker today. Uh, so I'll just call this STH for statement. And then we'll do a statement to execute it because that returns an object. And uh, okay, I'll try that. Refresh, and we get nothing back because nothing matches. Um, let's try Jesse. Jesse. We should have had something, but you see the password that it's checking is an MD5. So I will say MD5 in MySQL. So I'll try Jesse, Jesse, and we have one. Great. Uh, go ahead and copy this code, pause it if you need to. Uh, so what we're going to do is if we have a match where someone has a login and password with the correct match, we're going to um, allow them to go to a, another page. Uh, to do that, we could check the count. So let's say, uh, boy, what was it? Okay, I had to quickly look it up. Uh, let's do echo of um, sth row count and see if that works. So submit zero and let's try it with the real thing and we get one. That's what we want, uh, the row count. So I'll say count equals that. Um, I could probably comment this out and I'll say if count is greater than zero, meaning we have a record, login, else, um, show an error. And the way you go about this is really going to be up to you. I'm just going to test this once more to make sure it works. Good. Um, so to log in, uh, I suppose we could create a page called dashboard. And I'll say new PHP file. I'll call it dashboard. And this is a cl uh, controller, so I'll just copy all this and paste it. I'll call it dashboard. And we're going to need a dashboard index. So in our views, I'll create a new folder. Call it dashboard. And I guess I could just copy that, paste it in there. Let's see what's in here. Dashboard. Logged in only. OK. Um, that should be good. So I'm going to test out that dashboard controller real quick. Real quick. Dashboard. OK. And here's the dashboard controller. And what I want to do is make it so that if they're not logged in, they can't see this page. Uh, a way to go about that would to be to uh, create a session. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a session object, just something very simple. So session will be a new class. And I'll say class session. And this is going to be a public static function set and public static function get. The reason I'm doing this is because, in my opinion, it's nicer to type out. Uh, so, key value session uh, key equals value 
return session key. So this is just working with sessions in a little easier way in my opinion. Um, and we, we do want to make sure session is started. Um, so I'll just do a session start. Um, maybe we should put this like in init session. Yeah, I'll, I'll do an init public static function init. So we call this when we want to start the session. And we'll also do one called public static function uh, destroy. And we'll do session destroy. Now I, I am going to make a note. You're going to want to um, unset um, your session stuff. But I'm going to leave that alone for now. So we have our session. We need to include this in the index page. So I'll just control shift down arrow. Include session. Close that. Close that. And we are in the dashboard. So I'll do session in it. Okay. And let's see. What's this page? The login. I can close that. Um, and we're going to do session get. Um, I'm going to do this really plain and easy for right now. I'll just say logged in. And I'll call this logged equals session get logged in. So if logged equals true, it's good. But if logged equals false, it's bad. So we'll do a, a header location of, uh, oh, what's it called? Login.php. Make sure to exit. And I'm also going to, for safety precautions, I'll do session destroy. Okay, kind of a, a ghetto rigged way of doing it. But so what's going to happen is we're going to set the session variable logged in if they're log if they uh, pass our little requirements. Uh, this is a static method function, by the way. So if they are logged in, first we need to uh, set a session set logged in to true and make sure we do a session init actually um, where should we do that uh, I guess I'll just do it right here okay. and we will also do a header location of dashboard.php and this one will be a header location of uh, login.php so let's try that. Refresh. Oops. Ooh, I need to get rid of that PHP. Dashboard index. I gotta get rid of that. Uh, let's try that. Let's go back, refresh, submit. And it took us to login slash login. I didn't really want that to happen, but I'm not gonna freak out about it right now. Let's try to go to the dashboard. And it brings us right back here. Good. So we can't get in there. Let's try with Jesse, Jesse. And it tried to bring us to uh, this wrong area. So what I'm gonna do is, um, for the location, I guess I'll just do, uh, boy, login. I usually set uh, my paths absolute, but I haven't gone through all that yet. Uh, it's up to you how you wanna do your paths. Uh, login, and this will be uh, dashboard. So let's try that again. Submit, login, good. So I'll say Jesse, Jesse, and dashboard. There we go. And in the dashboard to log out, I will create a function logout. And we'll say session destroy. And we can just copy this little piece of code. Paste, good. And we're going to need a link inside of the uh, header. And what I'll say is um, if session get uh, logged in equals true. Okay. 
So we're first checking if they're logged in. And then we're going to check PHP else. And PHP end if. So if they're logged in, they're allowed to log out. And this would be what? Dashboard slash logout. Refresh. Um, line 25. Sorry. Forgot that little nugget there. And go back. Refresh. Undefined variable session. Ooh, I didn't init my session. Really, if you want to work with sessions, I think it'd be a good idea to initialize it in a global place. Uh, the bootstrap is a little low down, but I don't know, maybe the controller if you wanted. Um, for now, I guess I'm going to ghetto rig it. We'll just say. Session in it in case it's not there. And now we have a logout link. Let's see what that does. Undefined index logged in. Well, it logged us out, but now we have a uh, undefined index on line 18. Uh, so we need to change our session, clean that up. And I'll say uh, when we get something, we're going to say if is set session key will return it. Otherwise, it's not going to return anything. There we go. So let's try that again. Jesse, Jesse, log in. And we're there. Now, to get rid of this notice, uh, a quick and easy way you could put a at sign before it. So I'll refresh, and now it's gone. So log out. Cool. Now we have a very, very basic login system. Um, what you're going to want to do is probably organize your stuff and make your functions easier. Uh, this isn't a 100% coverage of every little detail we could do. It's just to give you an overview. Um, one thing I would do is make a, a config file for your database. Looks like we have one. And database right here. And some parameters we need would be um, the type, the host, the uh, DB name, DB user, and DB pass. Okay. So in my database PHP config file, I could just do this and I'll say define. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do these as constants. And constants should always be uppercase, in my opinion, to follow a good uh, standard. So I'll just do uh, define. And what do we have? DB host. DB name, DB user, DB pass. Okay. And then uh, we'll have a nice little area where we configure all our junk from. Okay. So the DB type, remember in our thing it was uh, MySQL. The DB host was localhost. Uh, the DB name was MVC. The DB user was root. And I had no password. Now I just gotta flip these constants in here. Erase that. And db type. Oops. Dot. Quote quote. Dot dot. db host. Um, db name. db user and db. Did I call it pass or password? Pass. Okay. Um, DB name equals. There's a dot there. And refresh to make sure it works. Log out. Let's try it again. And it's still working. Cool. Now there's a lot more to go into this. Well, we just did it very simply for now. Uh, this database object. This isn't all we're going to do. But that's it for now. Um, I will upload this to my site and I hope this is helping you along the way. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and thanks if you lasted 30 minutes of watching this. Man, it's a long time. All right, see you later, guys.